what's going on everybody to JRPG enthusiasts here shadowy elite and guys we are a little over well we are over the halfway point for 2015 and a lot of JRPGs have come out in the past couple of months and a lot of JRPGs have been announced to come out in the coming months so it's pretty interesting to see all these JRPGs announced and that they will be releasing in the same year so guys Let's see what JRPGs are coming out in the remainder of 2015, shall we? So the first game I want to talk about is Lost Dimension. Lost Dimension looks like a pretty interesting JRPG to me. Um, it seems to borrow heavily from Valkyria Chronicles, and you guys know how I feel about Valkyria Chronicles. I love the game. It's in my top 10 JRPGs, my top 5 JRPGs. And uh, I'm not going to say it's, it's it's like a rip-off of Valkyria Chronicles until I play it because it's always nice to see that a game will uh, be inspired by another um, genre or another game and to see if it can do it better. But the uh, story here in Lost Dimension, which I don't, I'm not entirely sure what the story is just from what I'm seeing, it looks like a post-apocalyptic apocalyptic, <laughs> end of the world thing going on here. And uh, it looks like you got a couple of people who are willing to fight um, whatever looks like alien invaders or maybe some type of um, invading nation or something like that. But the overall gameplay looks pretty awesome, I gotta say. So uh, definitely looking forward to Lost Dimension. Um, I'm probably going to get this one on the Vita when it comes out. It's coming out on the PS3 and, and the Vita, so I'm definitely going to get it on the Vita because the Vita needs some love. And I think most of the games that are on this list in particular, I'm going to get for the Vita. Summon Night 5. This is an interesting one because I thought that we would never get this game at all. Um, I can't believe Guy Gen Works are going to be working on it, and they're also going to be giving us a physical release if enough interest is there. A physical release of a PSP game in 2015. How dead the PSP is, and it's actually going to have a physical release, could have a physical release. It's pretty awesome. I was always interested in this game when I first saw it. The art design really clicked with me, and of course, I love strategy RPGs, so this one looks great as well. So hopefully Gaijin Works can get the interest in there and we can have a physical release even though I'll never play it on the PSP. I'll have a downloadable code, that's what it's gonna come with. Also, it's gonna come with a downloadable code so you can play it on the Vita. So again, Vita Love is coming. Let's see what we got. Can't wait to play this one. Next up we have Legend of Heroes Trails of the Cold Steel. Yet another game that I thought was never gonna see a lot of day over in the States outside of Japan. But our boys at Exceed have brought it upon themselves to grace us with this game's presence. It looks pretty good. It looks like a nice little turn-based JRPG I could play. You know, it looks like uh, like has some good art direction. And anything from Legend of the Heroes series, I always want to play thanks to Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. Speaking of which, Exceed, what is going on with Legend of the, Legend of the Heroes Trails in the Sky, the second chapter? I mean, damn, I've been waiting for that one ever since the cliffhanger ending in the first game. I really want to play it. Let's go, XC. I'm, not, I'm just saying you were, you guys were like it was going to come out last year, I believe. But it got pushed back to 2015, and I haven't heard anything about that since. So, you know, I'll be getting um, um, Trails of the Cold Steel for the PS Vita, of course, for the Vita, of course, like I said. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll get it for PS3. Maybe the PS3 can use some love. And it's right now. It's collecting dust. I don't even have it hooked up. My PS4 is the only thing that's hooked up right now. Uh, but yeah, definitely gonna give this game a shot when it comes out. Legend of the Legacy reminds me of Bravely Default a lot by its graphical style and its turn-based combat. I mean, I didn't play Bravely Default, and uh, I don't know why. Don't kill me for that one, guys. But i uh, definitely be giving this one a shot when it comes out because it looks like to be right up my alley. And I do like the uh, artwork and the uh, chibi character designs on the graphics. Just like Bravely Default, but you know, <laughs> whatever there. I'll definitely be playing this one because it, it definitely looks like a game I could play. On the 3DS, 3DS is getting love. Mostly 3DS and Vita games and uh, some PS3 games on this list. Looks pretty, looks pretty awesome. Stella Glow is Image Potch's last game, and um, it looks okay. It's a pretty much a strategy JRPG, and the character designs do look pretty good. The gameplay itself, it's a strategy RPG. I, I, I really can't say what else. It doesn't look 
um, crazy, but it does definitely does look unique enough for me to be intrigued by it. But uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be getting it 100%. I mean, I honestly might. I'm not. I'm not sure. But seeing as it's Image Potch last game, I'll probably give it a shot. Veteran Odyssey 2 Untold The Fafnir Night, I believe that's what it's called. Um, I've never been a huge fan of the Etrin Odyssey games. I have no idea why. I mean, I like dungeon crawlers, but I guess something about filling out a map really turns me off. I mean, I think I got the same problem I do with the uh, Monster Hunter-like games. I, I like Monster Hunter-like games, but I don't like Monster Hunter itself. Same case, I mean, I like um, games that are like um, Etrin Odyssey, like Persona Q. But I don't care for Action Odyssey as a whole. So I guess this is going to be enjoyable for some people, but for me, I don't think I'm going to be buying this. Not really, I don't think. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be this one. But hey, let me know in the comment section what you guys say about your Odyssey. Dungeon Travelers 2, the Royal Library and the Monster Seal is a dungeon crawler game. And to be honest guys, I mean I like what I see, but I'm a little bit dungeon crawled out. I played some dungeon crawlers and I don't think this one is going to be on my list. But yeah, I actually do like the character designs and the uh, class system looks pretty good. Um, this is actually another game that I'm surprised that we got over here. So the next set of games are games that are already confirmed and for release in 2015. So uh, let's see what's still what we got on the remainder here. Uh, Persona 5, uh, if you've been following me guys, you, you guys know how I feel about Persona 5, and you guys know that I don't think it's going to come out in 2015, I think it's going to get pushed back to 2016, because unless Tokyo Game Show comes along and showcases some major gameplay, or some type of event comes along and showcases some major gameplay, in the next month or two or something like that, I don't think it's coming out even in Japan in 2015, I think, I think, I think they're gonna push it back to 2016. That's two years running that this game was announced and it gets pushed back to 2016. But uh, yeah, I will I will love Persona 5 when it comes out. I haven't even played the game. And I'm saying I'm gonna love it. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I am gonna be in love with the game when it comes out. Dragon Quest Heroes is a uh, beat em up game similar in the style of Dynasty Warriors. And me, I'm definitely getting this one because I haven't played a Dragon Quest game in years. And I hope to God Dragon Quest 8 on the 3DS makes it overseas. Uh, they pro they kind of like pseudo confirmed it a little bit, but it's not 100% confirmed. But uh, this one looks actually, um, uh, looks like a classic beat em up game. I mean, like, I don't see anything too special about it. I expect it to be nostalgic. Like, um, you know, when I'm playing it, I get like a Dragon Quest 8 feel from it. Maybe, but I'll definitely be picking this up. Not the limited edition, just the normal everyday. Uh, the Sky of Five is coming out. Um, definitely gonna buy it. Um, I, what I'm talking about, but I already pre ordered the limited edition off the NIS America store, so I definitely will be buying the limited edition, doing an unboxing. And I always love the Sky games. I mean, there's not one this Sky game I actually look, look at and say, huh, this game sucks. No, all of the this guy games are really, really good games. If you're not, if you're not too sure to get into the series or not, I suggest you just jump in. You can jump in virtually anywhere, but I suggest you jump in with, with the ones that have the um, HD sprites. Xenoblade Chronicles X. I still haven't gotten my Wii U, but I will be buying one very soon as soon as I can um, get together some extra money. The release date, in my opinion, is still late in the year, so I wouldn't be surprised if it got pushed back as well to 2016, to an early 2016 release. But who knows, Nintendo could be well on the localization, and they could be doing you know, some testing as we speak, so maybe I'm just wrong. Damn, this game looks awesome! I can't wait to get it! I can't wait to play it! Tales of Zisteria is coming out, and I'm going to be getting it on the PC. I will not be getting the limited edition that comes with a huge box with a whole bunch of stuff and a whole bunch of awesome stuff in it. No, nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy it on the PC, and hopefully the PC version is optimized out the gate, and it doesn't have to be any patches. I mean, you got enough time, Neko Bandai. Don't fuck up the PC release, please. Don't don't do it to me. I want it at 1080p, 60 frames per second out the gate. Don't don't do no patches and stuff like that. But anyway, guys, if again. If you've been following my channel, you guys know how I kind of feel about Tales of Hysteria. I have no hype for it, which is the reason I'm getting it on the PC and not on the PS3 or PS4. Um, 
because I don't really care that much for it, so I'm not going to get the limited edition. But um, what I see in the gameplay aspect of it, it looks pretty cool. It looks pretty awesome. It looks like a Tales game. But as far as the story, along with the characters go, I, I I'm, I'm I'm almost done with Tales of games. I'm not I'm not saying that bad, but maybe the next Tales of game can reunite my fire for the series Tales of um, Berseria. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's all I gotta say on Tales of Hysteria. So guys, that's pretty much it for the JRPGs that I will be releasing in the rest uh, for the rest of the year of 2015. Um, I may have missed some. I'm not perfect, guys. I don't have to complete other lists. And then you know there might be some games that are, will be announced, like you know maybe the next week or a month from now that might be releasing in 2015. So yeah, they're not on here, all on here, but a good majority are. So guys, let me know in the comment section which ones you plan to get, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.